Hey everyone, this is Robert Mack with Irvine Real Estate Link. Your link to the information that you need to make the right decision. So I want to talk to you guys about why agents may cut their commissions or why agents may share their commissions with their clients. Now, it all comes down to uh, the level of service uh, that you're expecting or the price. You know, are you looking for a value-driven value, value -driven agent or are you looking for the best price? Because everyone always knows you get what you pay for. And, and what I did was I made some notes here on three reasons why I think realtors in this market will cut their commission. Um, now, I want to start with a little story. And uh, my coach used to always tell me this. And it's, it's a cute story, actually. Um, you know, you have, let's say you have Walmart in one hand and you have Nordstrom's in another hand. Now, Walmart always has sales. Nordstrom's may have sales, but it's not that they're not as common. And some items that they sell may overlap. Uh, some items, not, not a lot of items, but they may overlap. Now, does Nordstrom's ever panic when Walmart has a sale? Because they have a lot of sales. And the answer is no. And the reason why it's no is because they're looking for a different type of client. When you go into Walmart, you're basically on your own. The store may be messy, it may be huge, you may not find what you're looking for, you may have to ask several people to find what you're looking for and it may get frustrating. In the end, you do all the work and you'll get the lower price but you spend maybe hours looking for what you need whereas when you go to Nordstrom's, you're greeted with a smile, they ask you how they can help and anytime you need anything, they go above and beyond to help you find what you're looking for and the experience is pleasurable and you pay a little bit extra, but the experience is one that's pleasurable and you may not spend as much time and we all know time is money. So that's a great example I like to say and you know many agents do cut their commissions and many agents uh, you know do uh, include you know do uh, kick back their clients some money and uh, I always tell my clients and they probably should for one of these three reasons. Number one, they're desperate for the business. Okay. They either have very few or maybe even no clients to work with, so something is better than nothing. So if you're a seller, you want to take this into consideration. You know, are you working with an agent that's desperate or are you working with an agent who's going to get the job done? Number two, they're inexperienced or they may be new. They may be new. Now, nothing against inexperienced agents or new agents. I used to be there and honestly, Every single day I learn something new. It's a learning experience being in real estate. I love to learn. I love to get training. I love to get coaching. I love to read. I do many things to, to increase my experience. But the reality is there's a lot of new agents entering the market at a very tough time. So they're just trying to get their foot in the door. They may not be confident with the services they offer or in themselves due to the lack of, lack of experience. So that's just a learning process and many times because they're not confident in themselves, they will cut their commissions or share their commissions with you to incentivize their services. So again, you want to focus on, you know, you may be buying or selling the most expensive asset that you ever owned or will own. Are you looking for somebody with experience or are you looking for, for somebody with, with very little experience but may give you some money back? Keep in mind, the money you save in all cases, may be less than what you may lose throughout the process if you're not working with somebody who has your best interest in mind and knows what to do and how to get the job done the best way for you. And number three, they may cut their commissions or share their commissions because they work on quantity versus quality or they're a non-full service broker. Basically, a non-full service broker is their scope of services or duties or communication, or follow-up, or marketing, or advertising can be limited to maybe even nothing. In all cases here, you run the risk of either putting a lot of time and effort into working and doing things that your agent should be doing, or you run the risk of maybe saving money that's not as much as you may lose. Either way, you want to make sure when you're working with an agent, I always tell all my clients, I'm big on referrals. If I do great work for a client, I always want them to refer me to their friends and family. And just like any other agent out there, if they do great work for their clients, I feel like they deserve to be referred to their friends and family, coworkers, etc. because we're all in this business to help. So you want to just make sure you get a great referral. And if you can't, interview three to four to five agents. Get a feel for how they are, 
how the, you know, ask them the questions. Ask them how many clients do you have? How many homes do you sell in this neighborhood? How, you know, how experienced are you with short sales, foreclosures? Ask them the questions you need to help yourself feel comfortable moving forward. Interviewing three to four to five agents, reading their testimonials, checking out their websites, reading about their marketing, watching their YouTube videos. It's a great way to get to know people and agents and, and choose one that's the right fit. So real quick, let me recap. Why most agents cut their commissions? They're either desperate for the business, they're inexperienced or new, or they work on quantity and not quality. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please share it with your friends and family. If you know somebody who's looking to hire a great agent, show this video to them. Get them educated so they know what their next step is. You know, check out my website, IrvineRealEstateLink.com, and like my Facebook page. It's Facebook.com forward slash IrvineRealEstateLink. There you can keep up with all my great videos. And also, if you like it, please leave a comment below. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Uh, and thanks again, and I'll talk to you soon.